Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 14 The Show here on the PS3 and this is Road to the Show with Rashad Bolden. This is episode 11 and we're getting ready for a series here, a four game series against the Chicago Cubs. As you see there, they are 25 and 21 for the season. As for us, the Padres, we are 18 and 29 here and we have Cashman on the mound for us against Travis Wood here. Coming up in this first game of this four-game series against the Cubbies here at home. Um, so, uh, in the last episode, we seen that we uh, lost. Uh, we actually uh, won. Uh, we snapped our five-game losing streak uh, in the last episode by winning the last game of the two-game series against the Twins. And Bolin got his fourth home run of the season in his second grand slam of his career uh, in the last episode. Now... Right now, you're looking at a player comparison, and we're taking a look at some of the other center fielders here in the Padres organization. Of course, Bolden there you see at the top up there. Uh, of course, uh, Cameron Maven, a former starter and the former center fielder for the Padres there in Triple A. Now, uh, and he looks like uh, he's trending uh, on the uh, plus side here, and he'll probably be, be coming back up pretty soon. So. We'll see here. There's the team stats there. Uh, and as we get this first game going here, uh, there you see the home and road records for both squads here. But uh, right now, we're just going to take a look here. Uh, now, uh, not going to get normal, the normal player spotlight and whatnot, but just kind of give you a brief, brief overview. Uh, last episode, we seen him hit that grand slam. And of course, he uh, drove in six RBIs in that ball game. Uh, and did, uh, you know, had a very nice game there against the Twins in that last game. Uh, so there you see, they're just talking about the last game he had and what he has done for this organization so far here in that last game uh, against the, the uh, Twins. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the action here in just a bit. But there you see another uh, good, uh, actually uh, pretty good uh crowd here tonight. Looks like a pretty good crowd as the Cubs are in town, so probably got a lot of Cubs fans uh, there uh, supporting the Cubs. Uh, but also, too, uh, you got the Padres here who got this rookie right here at the bottom, here in the bottom of the second here. Uh, runner at first, and there you see he'll go after that uh, strikeout, or go after that pitch there, but that will be a strikeout. He'll get four points for that seven pitch at bat there as Woods gets the rookie off the plate there with that strikeout there. So you see uh, San Diego's coach not too happy uh, with uh, what the rookie's doing. So bottom of the fourth here, uh, bases are empty. And we'll see here that's going to be a routine play there to the pitcher as that one chops right in front of him. And Woods is able to get the out there at first on that play. So, uh, so far Woods is now, uh, get, or I should say Bolden's now 0-2 against Woods now. So bottom of the sixth here, runner at first and second here. Down by, or actually up by a run here. Bolton will pop this one high and deep. And this one will not have enough uh, energy to get out of the ballpark. As that one fades right there at the, near the warning track there. And Bolton will pop out on that play. So now 0 for 3 for the day here for him. And we'll see here the replay. Nice catch and nice play there. As Bolton just cannot get enough of uh, that power there that he has. To sell that ball out of the ballpark there. So now bottom of the eighth here. We are down by a run here. Bases are empty with two outs here. We'll see Bolden go after this one. A nice hit right here. And that one will get in there for a base hit. And that will get him a single for the day. So you can now say he has got a hit in this ball game here. As now he is one for four for the day. And we'll see here that that's what he'll be for the game. One for four for the day. And uh, no RBIs. No home runs. Uh, but we end up losing this one 4-2, the final score. So now Edwin Jackson and Josh Johnson on the mound today. This is going to be a good matchup here. Uh, you see Edwin Jackson 4-2 and two for the season, 4.39 ERA. Josh Johnson, uh, there you see 2-5 for five, uh, for the uh, his season, and 3.46 ERA for him. So this is going to be a good matchup here, these two young uh, pitchers here. For both of these organizations, and we'll see what they'll do here at Peco Park. Uh, and now we'll see here Bolden up the bat here. And you see his stats right there, last eight games uh, for him. 
So now 2-2 two, two, two pitch here, and he'll go after that slider, and that will be a strikeout right there as Bowden gets a uh, five pitch at bat there, and he'll get two points there. So Edwin Jackson starting off on the right foot here against the rookie here and gets that struck out there. So now bottom of the third here, tied one all, and a runner at first with one out. 2-0 pitch here for Bolden. He'll hit this one. This one's going high. This one's going deep. But this have enough to go out of the ballpark? No, it is caught there by the center fielder there out there at deep center field. And that will be an out for Bolden there. So now 0 for 2 for the day now with one, with one strikeout here for Bolden. Doesn't look too good here uh, in the early part of this ball game here. So now hopefully you can turn change things around here. Bottom of the fifth, nobody on board. One out, and Bolden hits this one. This one goes high, this one goes deep, and this one, yeah, gets caught by the center fielder as he catches that one in left center field there that time. And that will give Bolden 12 points for his attributes there. Uh, but no love there as now he's 0 for 3. Now top of the 6 here, see some uh, defense here, and Bolden will have to track this one down. He almost loses that one, but is able to get the ball. But he tries to throw this one in. Uh, but the run will score there from third. Uh, there you see eight points there for Bolden. It will be an out, but they will, the Cubs will be able to run, drive in a run on that sacrifice fly. So bottom of the seventh now. We are down by two here. Bolden hits this one. This one's going deep. This one's going back. And that one's going over the wall right there. That's a home run for Bolden. That is his fifth of the year. And that will be a solo shot there. As they'll hit that one right over the wall here. And that will be a home run there for Bolden. And that will uh, actually con uh, hit, continue his hitting streak here. He actually has a uh, modest six-game hitting streak there with that shot right there. And that will get him on board there. As we'll see the replay right here. Almost have that one as it bounces up on the top of that scoreboard there. And that will be... Uh, home run for Bolden now. So we'll go ahead and head into the bottom of the ninth here down by a run And we'll see here that one hits right off the pitch right there as they make a, uh, a uh, Unconventional double play there, but only able to get one play uh, One runner the lead runner there out that time and we'll see the replay here as that one It looked like kind of hit off his back, but no it actually hits off his uh, wrist there uh, he pitcher was able to come back into the ball game, but uh, we end up losing this one three to two as Edwin Jackson gets his fifth win of the year. Johnson gets his sixth loss of the year, and we lose that one in that ball game two to three. So now we go ahead and go to a pitch hit situation here in, in game three for Bolden. He'll come in in he will come in in the bottom of the third here with runners in the first and second here. They'll see what he'll do here. So he. Got a somewhat of a day off, but we'll see here. Uh, they need his bat here and see. Hopefully, he'll be able to do something here as he's sitting there on the bench and getting some last-minute instructions there from his manager about what they'll need him to do here. So five home runs, 15 RBIs for him. Average 280 here for Bolden here. We'll see what he'll do. So runners at first and third, or excuse me, first and second, and two outs, 0-2 pitch. This one goes hits high and deep. But that one is caught by the right fielder out there, and that will end the inning right there. So the Cubbies do a great job there holding down Bolden as they are leading it 6-2. to two. So we'll go ahead and sim here, and I'll show you guys the sim of this ball game. But, uh, of course, uh, you know we're trying, we're trying our best to get out of this hole here that we're in right now when it comes to the uh, National League West here. Uh, got tough teams like the Dodgers, Giants, and uh, of course now the, I believe the Rockies are still in first here. Um, you know it's going to be a tough time for us uh, to get out of there and to do something here. But we'll see the simulation here, and it looks like so far the Cubbies are doing a great job here, holding on to this lead here uh, as we get into the latter part of this ball game here. Uh, Bolden, of course, is sitting out. Uh, he was up for a pitch hit situation, which I don't understand why they brought him in so early in the ball game. Uh, it was better off to pretty much just to start have him start, but uh, you know, would you expect the the managers are uh, for whatever reason think that uh, they probably you know figure that he'll be able to hit a home run and 
call it a day. But there you see, Cubs win this one six to two, and we end up uh, losing that ball game here now. So that's now three games now we have lost here in this series here, and uh, we gotta try to turn things around here. Avoid getting swept here as we get ready for game four here uh, in this series here. So there you see Bolden's numbers there. Two for ten for this series so far. A solo shot in this uh, series against the Cubs. So bottom of the second here, bases are empty. And 1-1 one, one pitch with no outs. And we'll see here that this one will go straight up to the second baseman for an out there. So Bolden popping out there and the, his first at-bat in this ball game here. Not the way you want to start your day off here as he's wearing his shades there on a bright sunny afternoon here in San Diego. Cubbies are doing a great job here, uh, holding down this uh, rookie here. But we'll see bottom of the third here, runners at first and second with two outs. And we'll see here, yeah, he goes after that one. That is not even in the zone, nowhere close to it. And Bolden will strike out there. So that five pitch at bat right there, the Cubbies lead it two to one. Now five one, bottom of the six here, bases are empty. And Bolden will hit, the, he'll, he will hit this one Excuse me, to the third baseman. And that will be a routine play there as Bolden gets uh, out on that play. As Jake Herrera's numbers there, you see his number is five and one-thirds innings. 62 pitches so far in the ballgame, two walks, five strikeouts, and one earned run there for him. So uh, bottom of the eighth now, 5-2 is the score. Hit this one high. This one's going deep. And does Bolden have another home run in his bat? Yes, he does. He hits that one out of the ballpark right there. That is home run number six for him. And that will be a solo shot here for him in this ball game. Now help, helping his team out here, try to get a little closer here, and try to whittle down the lead that the Cubs have in this ball game here with that shot. We'll see a replay here, and Bolden right there hits that one 414 feet high and deep center field here. As so we'll see the replay, that ball is definitely screaming there. Uh, just en not enough to hit an airplane out there that. Uh, near the airport, that's which is uh, out there at, uh, at center field, but that one does uh, get out of the ballpark there. But we end up losing this one 5-3, to three, final score there. As you see, it really gets his fourth win of the year. And Bolden uh, ends up in the day with a 4-1 uh, and one day with a home run and an RBI. So we'll see here. We're 14 games out of first place here as we get ready to wrap up this episode. Now the Giants and uh, Rockies now have uh, tied up here they are 32 and 19 uh, respectively there you see in first place there and then of course there in third is the Diamondbacks four game four and a half games out of first place and the Dodgers at five games out of first so uh, like I said we are in some dangerous territory here we're already getting close to 20 games out of reach here and if we don't get ourselves together here now we're back on a four game losing streak uh, it's going to be a long, long season for the Padres and for Bolden here. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look here in the next episode as we have Ian Kennedy will be on the mound for us going against uh, Brandon McCarthy. Uh, uh, see his numbers, 5-3 and three for the season, uh, 3.05 ERA for him and 38, home, or excuse me, 38 strikeouts for him for the season. So we'll see what Ian can do against him. In the next ball game, also we'll see what Bolden can do, as this is going to be a three-game series on the road. Uh, actually, starting a road trip here uh, against uh, starting off with the Diamondbacks in the next episode. So we'll see what he'll do in the next episode, you guys. So definitely come on back to see what happens. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and check out other great series here on ESGN Net. Uh, also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below there. You guys can uh, spread the word on social media about the channel and what the channel offers here. Um, but as always, guys, uh, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.